everybody. Welcome to the Gym Master Show. It's so great to have you here watching from all around the world. Guess what? I'm your host, Jim Masters. It's a pleasure to have you here. We have an audience that watches literally from all around the world. So we welcome everybody that's watching from right here where we are based. We're here in the United States. We're here in the New York area. That's right, tri-state area, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, along the southern New England coast. Uh, that is, of course, uh, between New York and Boston. And also, we have an audience that loves us in Canada. We love you, too. And all throughout South America, Mexico, Bermuda, we have viewers that watch all throughout Europe. Of course, uh, the UK and Ireland, Scotland, England, uh, throughout Switzerland and Sweden, Finland, Norway. We hear from Italy and Greece and France. It's extraordinary. Lithuania <laughs> and uh, throughout Asia. Japan and and of course uh, uh, Africa, South Africa too, and uh, Australia and New Zealand, the entire globe. We welcome you, whether you're watching uh, live or you're watching this Memorex, as we say, which of course is uh, later on. So if you miss anything ever on any of our episodes, never worry. You can see them again because we archive every episode of our series. Now we are getting close to almost a thousand episodes wow that's a lot of talking that's a lot of levity uh almost a thousand well well over 800 plus episodes of the gym master show live series entertainment lifestyle variety talk show series that we started in early april 2020 if you're just joining us for the first time and have done consistently with extraordinary guests who come in from all around the world, all different levels of celebrity. Some of them are friends of mine, celebrity friends that I've interviewed professionally in my professional career on television, radio, stage, and film. And uh, they've come in and they've been guests on our show, folks from Broadway and television, film, Hollywood, music, sports, culinary arts, and food, of course, comedy, inspiration, just about everything. And it's been an extraordinary experience. And of course, we say hello to the JMS, Gym Master Show, Lovity Squad. Those are the real diehards who watch all the time. If you're not part of the Lovity Squad, it doesn't cost anything. Just watch our show, share the links on your social media, and you're part of the official JMS Lovity Squad. And we love every single one of you. Uh, that means, Lovity means light and love put together. I said light, love, and levity. I said the show has a lot of light, love, and levity about two years ago. And guess what happened? Out popped the word levity. And then the audience jumped on it. It was absolutely fantastic. So thanks for joining us from wherever you're watching. It's always a beautiful day when you guys are with us. It's also a beautiful day when my friend, longtime friend, stops by the show. I believe this is her third trip here into the Gym Masters show world here, her third time on our show. We're talking about the extraordinarily talented Grammy and Emmy nominated Celtic violinist, Mairead Nesbitt. She's a dear friend. We've been friends for a long time. And matter of fact, we've been friends ever since Celtic woman first came over to the United States from Ireland. That's right. We've been friends that long. And she is an epic talent, but also, and I can tell you personally, oh my God, you guys know her probably from the music, from on stage, from on television. And you probably wonder, I know you always wonder, like we all wonder, you know, what are people really like? Is Jim really like what Jim seems to be on TV and radio and everywhere else? Is Maraid really nice? Is she really a funny person? Is she really terrific? Yes, yes, and yes, I can tell you right now. We're really excited, too. She's going to be announcing the new project, Celtic Spells, which is very exciting, and also a fabulous song, too. She's going to play live as well. This is really fantastic. Man of the Horse. She's going to talk about that. Man of the House. This is really going to be fantastic. And uh, a lot of other cool things. She's been working with Disney. And, of course, you know her from... Celtic woman, but also she was on Broadway with Rocktopia. She worked with our mutual friend, as did I, with Tim Janis multiple times, Carnegie Hall, PBS specials. Uh, we met through PBS, um, she and I, but we've stayed friends even beyond all of that, which I think is really, really fantastic. Proof in the pudding ever since Celtic woman came over to the United States and there are some of the originals in Celtic Woman, of course. And you see Maraid right there. I'm in the center 
Am I a lucky guy there or what? <laughs> Stayed friends with all throughout the years. I know you guys love seeing these photos. So we're showing them just for those folks who haven't seen them before. We're always getting new viewers. Uh, so this, uh, uh, yeah, the original days, there's Lisa Kelly, who was a guest on our show as well. And of course, Chloe Agnew. Um, yeah, we've been friends. We we always have a good time. I don't know what it is. We always laugh. It's kind of like sister and brother. We always have so much fun. There we are, of course, with Paul Green. And it's just this is at uh, Carnegie Hall. Uh, and that was a fabulous evening as well. And we've just literally always had a good time, whether it's on TV, on stage, behind the scenes. One of the recent special things that we did, Celtic Hearts, Celtic Land. This was really great with our buddy Tim Janis, too. This was at Carnegie Hall. Yeah, I know you love all these kinds of photos, gang. So, yeah, this is also Carnegie Hall. This was at PBS. Yes, having fun in the studio as always. Yet, OMG. <laughs> oh my God, always having fun and uh, just really, really a good time. She's an extraordinary person. She's got uh, a heart of gold. She is very talented. She's full of energy. We say uh, hello to all of our friends who are watching in Ireland and Scotland and England right now, including uh, Marie's fabulous family. Of course, you know uh, Hibernia as well. In addition to all of that, gang, I just want to let you know, uh, a little plugging here because I love to help my friends. She, will, she also has her own jewelry line, which is featured on the uh, international network, JTV. We'll talk about that as well, which is really exciting. And she has her own Celtic violin collection. You thought I was busy. <laughs> She's one of the busiest people and the most talented and uh, sweetest in the entire business. And we're so excited to have her here. And uh, I see lots of comments coming in. As always, we get a little bevy of comments. Gang, if you would like to comment during our show, you can certainly do that. Um, you can do that in our JMS uh, Lovety chat room. What is the JMS Lovety chat room? The JMS Lovety chat room is the actual chat room that is happening live right now. And I see tons of comments. You can comment, say hello to us, say hello to me, say hello to Maraid. Uh, we are here. Maybe we'll sprinkle some of your comments on the screen. When you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is the channel you're watching right now, you get to comment exclusively, say hello to each other. Many of you may even know each other, become friends through our Lovety chat room. So if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, which costs zero, it doesn't cost anything, just hit that red subscribe button on our YouTube channel, Jim Masters TV. Click the notification bell so you never miss any of the action in our episodes. You can be a part of it all. You get to chat. So if you want to chat right now and have us see the comments and all, feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay a subscriber too, not just during the show, but you get a chance to see some of the amazing guests and great entertainment and commentary that we have here on the show. So with all of that said, I do want to tell you a little bit about uh, her incredible background, too. And there's so much going on in her life, which is extraordinary. As I mentioned, uh, Grammy-nominated, uh, Emmy-nominated artist and composer, founding member of the global phenomenal Celtic woman, Ray Nesbitt, has enchanted millions of fans around the world. And she's featured as a Celtic violinist on 11 celebrated Celtic woman albums, notably with every album rising to the number one slot on their Billboard World Music Chart. That's right. At uh, a very young age, Maraid was an All-Ireland Fiddle Champion. Maybe you didn't know that. Past member of the National Youth Orchestra of Ireland, Maraid completed her musical training at the CIT Cork School of Music and the prestigious London Royal Academy of Music as well. Cited by the New York Times as a demon of a fiddle player, Maraid has two Billboard charting solo albums to her credit, Raining up in Hibernia. And of course, we're now talking about Celtic Spells, which drops on the 28th. So this is what's happening right now on the Gym Master Show Live. And she's going to be sharing it with us. Is all exclusive. This is one of the first opportunities for her to tell us some of these cool things that are happening in her life. Also featured soloist in Disney's Tinkerbell. Did you know that? And Tinkerbell and the Lost Treasure, too. Uh, she released the album 
Devil's Bit Sessions, which charted on the Billboard World Music Charts back in 2017, features three generations of her own family. Matter of fact, her mother just received a fabulous Lifetime Achievement Award, and we are going to uh, celebrate that as well. And uh, just really incredible. And her family has a rich musical heritage, uh, the Nesbits there in Ireland. And it's just really amazing. Just to let you know as well, she holds distinctions of having performed for three U.S. presidents at both the White House and the Pentagon. She's also been featured uh, as a wonderful performer in the iconic venues of Radio City Music Hall and Carnegie Hall, Red Rocks, Hyde Park as well. She made her Broadway debut 2018 with a multi-genre hit show, Rocktopia. You may remember we had Rob Evan from that on the show as well. And of course, she's worked with our buddy, uh, PBS star, Tim Janis. We hope to do more work with him again soon. And uh, she was in Celtic Lands, the special as well. And she's got the jewelry and she's got the violins and everything else. I could keep going about all of her incredible accolades, but why don't we have her join on the show? You guys, we were doing a little sound check earlier. She's going to play live for us, which is really, really cool. She always plays live, which is a gift when she joins us here on the Gym Master Show. So you guys ready? <laughs> you ready? I think we've got you all primed now. It's my uh, wonderful honor to welcome live and direct. She's here in the United States. Uh, she's back here in the U.S. right now and all excited. She just got back from Ireland. Our friend, the one and only Mairead Nesbitt is joining us here on the Gym Master Show live. Mairead, welcome to the show, my friend. How are you? High five. <laughs> it's so great to see you. <laughs> so great to see you too, Jim. Oh, thank you for having me. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. I thought I was busy with all the running around I do, but you have been a busy bee. You've been all over the map. You've been worked with Disney. You've got Celtic Spells. You've got yeah. the jewelry line. You've got, of course, the violin collection. You were in Ireland. Your mom just received that Lifetime Achievement Award. Wow. I mean, <laughs> it's been extraordinary. A whirlwind, huh? Absolute whirlwind, Jim. You know, it's so great to be on again and 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 seeing everybody. Hi, everybody. And, you know, um, yes, it was amazing to be in Ireland with my mother, Kathleen Nesbitt, got her Lifetime Achievement Award. So we were all mm. there as a family. So that was amazing. And we played at the concerts all through the whole weekend in Monkstown in Dublin. And then uh, the next big thing for me, of course, is Celtic Spells. Thanks for yes. mentioning, Jim. Uh. So that's a new album and a new single coming out in the oh, October 28th. So the new single, that's the album cover. So that's, that's coming out in March 2023. Fantastic. Congratulations and on that. Thanks. And that's Man of the House. And that's coming out um, October 28th. So you're the very first person that I'm able to say this to. So uh. online exclusive exclusive <laughs> here on the show now tell us about this project tell us about the single and tell us about celtic spells this is something i know has personally been near and dear to your heart you have been working on this diligently constantly for a long time while still juggling everything else like we do in these industries this has been a real focus and a real baby for you Personally, this is your baby and congratulations on it because you've done so many things with so many others and they've been glorious. And now you've created this, which is something very special for you. Tell us about Celtic Spells and, and everything tied to it. Absolutely. Well, you know, Celtic Spells, um, first of all, the name came out of my Marade Monday show with the Celtic Spells, with, with, with the stories of Ireland. And this show, it's actually a show, Jim, and um the tickets are on bands in town for 2023 from march 2023 and we start off in, in california on the west coast and the new album is out march 2023 and but i'm so excited because literally in another week the man of the house first single from celtic spells is out on all platforms all streaming platforms from october 28th and really celtic spells was um um, an amalgamation, really, of uh, Neil Grover, myself, Ed Keane, 
the Irish composer Padder Townsend and my brother Carl Nesbitt and we got the whole album together and Jim, it was just amazing. The singers are incredible, Ryan Murray and John McAndrew from Nashville. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful story. And it takes a story, Jim, of a couple from Ireland who were from different backgrounds, different religions, and it was frowned on at the time. And they left their homeland to come to America and uh, make a life for themselves. And it comes full circle to them going home again as a family. And, you know, really it's told through a series of four spells and um, the music is from that. I'm so proud of it. And you know what? Even more so, Jim, during COVID, this was my project and um, every single bit of it was recorded remotely. Can you believe that? Really? Wow. Every single bit of it was recorded remotely uh, from Cork in Ireland to Boston to Nashville. And then all the way in Hollywood, LA, where it was mastered. <laughs> yeah, um, I like that. <laughs> there you go. Um, from Hollywood. And um, just, I'm, I'm really, really happy about it. And I just, um, I'm so proud of it. And I can't wait for people to hear it. <laughs> I tell you, this is really something. And it's, it's breathtaking just to see it. I mean, like you said, this... I mean, how long has this journey been for you to create this? Yeah, well, it was really the COVID period, maybe a year and a half, Jim. And I have to say also, Tim Janice, our friend Tim Janice, yeah. uh, did the video for this beautiful presentation. Oh, he here. did. So it's beautiful. And um, so, it, it, you know, it really is a labor of love, as you said, and also, you know, a journey. A journey yeah. is depicts a journey for two people who struggled. And, you know, we all struggled during COVID as well. And here we are at the other end of it almost. And, and we're, we're keeping going. And really, um, it must be the first CD, Jim, that COVID ever gets credited. <laughs> I actually what? go, thanks to COVID for proving <laughs> that we can actually all get together to make something beautiful in spite of you so <laughs> yes absolutely too yes I, I know and it's really extraordinary isn't it i mean it's um when you have an opportunity to put something like this together how does it feel it must feel wonderful that it's all come together in the way that it has for you it does feel wonderful, you know. I think, you know, listening to the album from beginning to end, it really has a whole concept uh, of the journey. And, um, you know, with the voiceovers as well as the music, it tells a story. And the beautiful arrangements by Padder Townsend. I know Padder for years and years and years, and uh, he's from County Cork in Ireland, yeah. and he lives in Bournemouth in the UK. And um, he did the most extremely beautiful arrangements. And also Carl Nesbitt, who's a multi-instrumentalist, my brother, um, managed to do all the, the multi-instruments on this, as well as myself. There's myself and, and Carl doing all the instruments. And um, he, you know, released albums himself as well, two albums himself, as well as doing this. So he was ultra, ultra busy. So thank you to all those amazing people as well. It's just incredible. And I, I can't wait for the first single to come out October 28th. And please, please, everyone, have a look at your streaming platforms because you're going to love it. Absolutely. How would you say Celtic Spells is different at all from anything else that you've done previously? Because you've done so much extraordinary work yeah. and so many projects and shows and performances. What is it do you think near and dear to your heart about Celtic Spells that is extra special? And what can people expect when they know the work that you've done? But now there is this new project. That's a really good question, Jim. You know, obviously everyone knows Celtic Woman and, and you know, other uh, things that I have done, other massive projects that I've been involved in that are um, a lot of very, very um, uh, vocal heavy and uh, very much like that um, in separate they're separate items. This is a more of a concept show from beginning to end and it tells a story. 
Uh, we have the beautiful singers, Ryan Murray and John McAndrew as well, uh, singing incredible songs like Wild Mountain Time, Danny Boy, you know, Parting Glass, I I incredible uh, songs and, you know, really iconic songs. But they're done in a different way, Jim, uh, yeah. to absolutely convey the journey from Ireland to the United States because Irish music in the United States has taken on a whole new, almost an, a whole new genre. And it's um, with Man of the House coming out October 28th, this really conveys that because it's so, so lively, but it's got that kind of groove in it that you find in, in almost like blues music um, or um, you know country music. That yeah. and because Irish music has been, you know, the roots of of a lot of music here has been Irish music, and so I wanted to, to depict that journey. So, Man of the House, uh, also Jim, is in that hit hit show, um, City on a Hill. I don't know if you've seen that yes. yet. Yes, yes, it's on amazing? Showtime. It's Showtime, and it's it stars Kevin Bacon, and it's absolutely the most amazing show. And really, I they use man of the house uh, as their theme music that tune and it really inspired me the whole american connection and boston connection in particular the east coast and new york of course jim um yes. with the whole thing of you know that um really cool groove uh, in in tunes and man of the house has that it has the whole american feel about it as well as the irish feel about it so i'm so excited for people to hear it. That's so exciting. That really, really is. Again, congratulations <laughs> on it. I know, and we're seeing some of the beautiful visuals that go with it as well, and gorgeous shots of of Ireland. Yeah. Now, you were just in Ireland, right? And you mentioned your mother receiving the Lifetime Achievement Award. The Nesbitt family, really, you, you were born into a family of fabulous entertainers and, and talented performers haven't you been people might not realize that family connection of fabulous entertainment and, and wonderful talent thanks jim i mean really i'm so lucky i am so lucky to have been born into um you know the the mental encyclopedias that are my family and um my mother and father i love of course, the way you put are... that the mental encyclopedia that's a <laughs> fabulous way to put that wow <laughs> um well you know it just it really is great and i i treasure jim i treasure every second every second with my mother and father and my family and i you know every time i go home it's food for the soul and uh, we get out the fiddles and all the other instruments, even instruments we haven't played in a while, and we we play, and it's just so fantastic, you know. It really is, and um, it's it's treasure time. And of course, being home for my mother's lifetime achievement award was incredible, and yeah. we all had a fantastic time. And I'm looking forward to getting home for Christmas as well. So that's going to be amazing. Um, but yeah, Jim. There's my mother and father. I've got my sister, Frances, and I have four brothers, uh, Sean, Michael, Noel, and Carl. And I know that a lot of people know Carl because he's uh, on social media and he's released lots of albums very recently and he's about to release another one. Oh, congratulations, <laughs> so he's, he's, huh? He's very, very, yeah. That's Carl exciting. Nesbitt Music. Yeah. Wow. Yes, yes. So he's Carl Nesbitt Music on Instagram. So, yeah, so all, all of that is just oozing out of every corner jim <laughs> of, it of, really of is <laughs> and we say hello to everybody i know the family watches us in ireland and and we love them they're they're wonderful people and uh, i'm glad everybody's doing well everybody's gotten through uh, this crazy time yeah. and they're doing okay they're doing great jim and you know it is what a time it's been <sighs> you know especially for artists and everybody everybody because of the whole mental issues uh, um, connected with it and also you know just even financially for artists it's yes. been it's been so devastating for people and um 
I just had to just keep busy, 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 yeah. and just yeah. just put the head down and make something beautiful out of all of this. And that's where Celtic Spells came in. And you know, it's um, I'm I'm most proud of that because it's just something that came out of a quite a not a dark time, but a very dubious time and a scary time for a lot of people, including myself. And just, you know, creating something to give to people. You know, it's just, I think it's so important. Music is so important to people. It's so important to lift people up, to raise them up and to lift people up. And it's just um, has been an incredible uh, gift to people in this time. And I, you know, I think, Long may it continue. What have you learned about yourself during this time? You know, we, we've had this downtime, this time of reflection and reinvention and rebooting. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well, let's Ooh. toast. I've got the Kindness Matters mug. Ooh. And I love what you have there. So I say Broadway that's, on it. That's my Broadway. That's my Broadway mug. <laughs> mm. Oh, my goodness. Um, look, I think... I learned a lot, um, you know, I think COVID, I think that time split families up quite significantly, you know, the way, um, you know, you can't, um, you know, they always say, don't talk about uh, politics, religion, uh, with family or friends, because, you know, you kind of get into a dicey kind of areas there, you know, mm -hmm. you, can, you can add COVID to that list. COVID is right. Yes, yes, you know? yes. And and it was just, um, I think we were all sucked into that and we were kind of, you know, made real kind of, people were very judgmental and, mm. oh, you're, you are, you're not, uh, you know, whatever side right. anyone was on and everyone became really divided. Instead of being mental. together Instead and of trying being to get together. all, everybody... Yeah, yeah. Divided, and, and I mean, I think is... people were really thrown into that and it was hard to uh, i mean i got sucked into it slightly myself and that's how i knew that um oh okay i'm i'm you know none of i mean i'm not to say none of this matters of course it does sure. but not more it it doesn't matter more than family and it doesn't matter more than friends and it doesn't matter more than being Your supportive health. of each other and no matter what it doesn't matter who where what, right. who your friends are, family are, you have to just yes. try and get through things together. That's, you know, I think that's always been a message I've always had in my life and my career, whether on or off, you know, uh, the lights shining on me. And that's something that you've always been about. You've always been about the together, about, uh, as we call it, levity, light, love, having a good time, bringing people together and reminding ourselves of what matters most no matter how many you know how big our car is or our house or how much money we have in the bank those things are nice but they're not truly what life is all about it's those simple pleasures it's yeah. going out to the ocean going to nature time well spent with loved ones and friends creating music having wonderful conversations you know, maybe a piece of cheesecake or some mashed potatoes. That would be good. <laughs> I love mashed potatoes, the Irish in me. But, you know, it's it's those things that truly matter. And kindness, empathy, we talk about it a lot on this show with our guests. But also, um, you know, your health is paramount. If we've learned anything about the last couple of years, you know, trying to stay healthy as best as you can in this crazy world, fast-paced world we're in is essential. These are, these are basic things that you don't want to lose, you know, the love of friends and family and, and your health. And we should really be focusing on those things. And then, you know, all the other stuff comes afterwards. Those are yeah. the paramount, just like you said so beautifully, my friend, those are the things that really matter most. I think hopefully a lot more people got that message, they got the understanding during this downtime, this time of rebooting and, and sort of yeah. reflecting on our lives, everything we've done already, what do we want to do going forward? Here you, during this time of this, have created Celtic Spells, another way to connect and inspire and, and entertain and, and make people feel good about themselves mm -hmm. and about life and to see the beauty that's around us. That's really important, isn't it, Marie? It really is important, um, for sure, Jim. It's the most important thing. Um, you know, really, 
that's what Celtic Smells is about as well, is connecting with nature. I think you're right. During during that time, during COVID, I think, you know, when when you know there was lockdowns in different places, I noticed that there was no you know, cars around and I could hear the birds clearer. Yes. I could hear different things when I was walking around and I was I was marveling more at nature, going, Wow, okay, this isn't my glass half empty. This is my this is my glass half full. You know, I have to look at it like that and and just really appreciate the beautiful sounds around me. And all of that really inspired Celtic spells and, you know, the spells all around us. And sometimes when we're in the humdrum of, you know, racing, get up in the morning, race, 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 race till the night time. And then we go to bed and then we get up again and race, 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 race. And then, you know, it's, you know, you stop. We had to stop. And we had to observe the spells, the spells around us. We had to observe them. And wow, are we the more richer for it, to be honest. And and wow, does every cloud have a silver lining if you if you want to look at it that way. You know what I mean? And I think that's probably the only way to look at it, you know? Right, exactly. Yes. And that's a it's a beautiful way to look at it. And again, things that we need to constantly remind ourselves of and and to reflect on as well. Tell us about uh, the jewelry line too. I know that's something that's so cool and it's been featured on, you know, national television. Congratulations on all that as well. That's really exciting. Thanks, Jim. You know what? Uh, that was uh, the most amazing project. Um, that was with JTV, as you said, a worldwide company. And, you know, at the end of this year, it's it's actually ceases to exist at the end of this year. So so it's on JTV, and so grab up your pieces you while they're still there. You can still get there. your yeah yeah because that's that's going to just uh, they they were an exclusive kind of um, uh, collection, and they it stops now. Uh, all my designs stop at the the end of the year. So I'm so happy. People love uh, love the line and. Um, they can grab pieces there. Still, there's some new pieces actually that are that I don't even have are still there. We, <laughs> we designed them, but uh, they made them and kept them there, and it's so so beautiful. And I'm so I'm feel so lucky to have had that project oh, uh, yes. during COVID as well because that was a project of love as well that I was doing alongside Celtic Spells. That's incredible. I know that's been something that's been very exciting and the pieces have been beautiful. So gang, you know, make sure you get them. Uh, limited supplies. Uh, just She just made the announcement now. They're available now. Get them, enjoy them and wear them well. And you'll be thinking about all the great music that Maraid has delivered to all of us over the years as you, as you wear them. The other thing too, even before the jewelry came this, you know, you also, I want to really focus too on the fact that you have workshops, you actually educate, you teach, you yeah. pay it forward. As much as you are an extraordinary person to me and to so many people, especially oh. as, a, as a real friend, but the fact that you have these workshops and these opportunities for people to learn from somebody who's at the expert level, tell us about that. That's exciting that you do that. Well, thanks, Jim. And you're a great friend as well. And you always give back as well. And thank you so much. Um, you know, on my website, moraidnesbitt.com, uh, people can sign up for lessons uh, and their Skype lessons. And um, they, the good thing, though, the really great thing about them is that First of all, if they get a violin from my website, they get a free lesson, of course, um, a free uh, 30 minute lesson. And so there's 30 minutes and 45 minutes and you can get them as bundles, which make them much cheaper, makes them really cheap and really affordable. And that's really important. And also, um, I think I've it's so lovely for me, Jim, because I get to meet different people from all over the world. I have a pupil from Paris. Um, I have people from, of course, all over America. And um, it's just really, really nice uh, to have people from all over the world. I have some, uh, a viola student. I have, I have some, obviously the, the violin is the main one. And of course, I, I teach tin whistle as well, so, which is fun, you know. And, you know, it's, it's, it's really important just to connect with people. And I think we're learning that more and more again, obviously coming out of the time we've had, we're re-educating ourselves to connect with people again. And this, um, 
program that I have on my website, Skype actually records the whole lesson for the for the student oh, and they cool. can download it, the whole thing. So they can practice along with their lesson and you know, and we have nice chats and it's just really, really nice to have that facility there because you know, you don't have that uh, on, on a lot of different other programs. So it's nice to have that. That is really fantastic. We got the website up on the screen there. So there you go, folks. You can learn more about it all uh, through her website, which is fantastic. You also have custom violins too, your own collection, which is, I mean, people can take a piece of Marie home just by having one of her violins. Tell us about this for folks who maybe know a little bit about it, but they don't know a lot about it and the opportunity to actually, can you imagine getting your hands on one of these uh, yeah. incredible pieces of instrumentation here? Tell us about this. Well, Jim, the, the violins that I have on my website, um, they're hand picked. They're, they're all apart from the very, very starter model, um, which uh, is finished in America. Um, the others are made in Europe and finished in New York, actually, Jim. Wow. And yes, and um, I actually played one of the violins in Rocktopia on Broadway. And of yes. course, I have my, my, uh, my, my, custom, my custom pink bow that a lot of people have. Um, from my website and from Colstein Music in, in New York as well. And they come in different colors, um, you know, black hair, white hair, green, pink, you know, you name it. And it's all, on, they're all on my website, but the violins are stunning because um, I've worked with a luthier there, Jeff Salzman, and um, he uh, and myself handpicked the violins. They're finished in the, the studio, they're finished in the workshop in New York. And I get to play them when I'm in New York, all of them. And, you know, it's just, they're so amazing and they are finished so well. Everyone who has bought one actually has said to me it is, and they have other violins that they've got from other people. It's the first violin that they didn't have to bring to, you know, a local music shop to, to set it up, you know, because it's all set up for people. All the accessories are included in the price. And I, I just think it's really important. It stems back from uh, me uh, in, in childhood, not having a violin myself for a very, very long time. And me um, warming up uh, violins for a, a local a violin dealer who was then sell them on. And I would be without a violin again. And then mm -hmm. I got another violin and then, you know, so it stems from that, I think, I think um, it is really, really important for um, people to have afford very affordable, high quality instruments. I think that's really important that are handmade, not mass produced, handmade. The all the accessories, the shoulder stand, Jim, even the shoulder stand um, that goes in under in under your your neck here, that yeah. that can be one hundred and twenty dollars. You know, even that, and that's included. That's actually included. So different things, you know, they're actual out violin outfits and they're all named after tracks from my Hibernia album as well. So I just thought it's nice to have the Celtic Dawn violin outfit, the Hibernia violin outfit. Um, the Matthias one, of course, is, the, is the, the, the top level one that is an exact replica of my own Matthias Albany violin. That's more than... 314 years old and wow. you know things things like that and people love that kind of special little special things and if they get value for money as well jim they get their free lesson they get you know a, a beautiful bow with it you know all that kind of thing it's just so important to people i i feel and i'm i'm honored to be able to do that uh, from my website that is so fantastic. That is so beautiful that you're doing that. Because again, it's part of the whole paying it forward, my friend, and something that you like yeah. to do. It brings people closer to it. And, uh, you know, between the, I, I imagine you have people who have the violin and then they get the workshops through you too, right? Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. And if they want to, they can have their free lesson online and they can have, you know, and then of course I have some amazing players and amazing people that we know as well. Of course, Hilary Chug is uh, an amazing um, yes. bluegrass player um, and she's a national book dancing champion and she dances and plays at the same time, but she has one of my violins, my Celtic Dawn, 
uh, violin outfit plus the custom pink bow and our friend tiffany moore um yes. has, she's here she's uh, watching she said hello oh, yeah hi tiffany hey <laughs> tiffany she's been a guest on our show she's a dear Yay. mutual friend of uh, the three of us here the two of us oh hey, tiffany. and and tiffany watching from you know, chicago has, Yes, and and she has a Hibernia violin and a custom pink bow. And actually, we were just here. Tiffany was visiting me here in New England, and we went around and did all the all the fun stuff, Jim. We did all the all the videos. We went to Salem. Yeah. We did Salem, all Massachusetts. Of that kind of yeah. Thing. Yes, and so um, we have lots of videos coming up as well on my socials. And um, so thanks, Tiffany. It's good to see you. Mwah. <laughs> yes, Tiffany, good to see you as well. Hopefully we'll be together again. Now, you also have done some work with Disney. Tell yes. us about that. That's extra exciting that since we chatted last, some of our viewers, our loveties might not be aware of. Congratulations on that, too. Thank you so much. I mean, years and years ago, of course, I did Tinkerbell. Yeah. Uh, the Tinkerbell movies with Disney. And lo and behold, I got the phone call to uh, be part of their 50th anniversary um, Disney newest show that's at Epcot called Harmonious. Yeah. And um, wow, was I thrilled. And actually we did, we recorded all that during COVID as well. Would you, you believe did. Jim? And <laughs> yeah, and wow. then um, um, it was absolutely incredible because I got to play with an all time I can call her a friend now because she's just so amazing. And she is the hardest working violinist I know. And that's coming from me, Jim. Next <laughs> to you, that's that's yeah. quite a statement. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's the hardest working violinist I know and everybody knows her, Lindsay Sterling. And um, we got to do, at long last, an amazing duet together, a fiery Celtic duet that um, is on all platforms, actually. Um, it's listed as Europe under Harmonious. So if you, if you type in Harmonious and type in Europe, we were the European section of Harmonious. And what Harmonious, uh, the concept behind that was um, all the different races coming together from all the different countries, all inclusive in, in, and beautiful in, the, in their diversity you know mm. and just coming together and creating this incredible show and jim we got to go down again to disney most recently a few months ago actually yeah. and we got to go down and do it live for disney plus and it's still on disney plus just just type in if you have disney plus type in harmonious live and you'll see the whole show. And it was hosted by Adina Menzel and um, Adina, yeah. Yeah. He's fantastic. Amazing. And then, of course, Lindsay and myself did an interview with Adina, which is amazing. She um, I have that too. Yeah. And I, just I interviewed want her say... on a PBS special she did with um oh. unfortunately the late Henry Mancini. Oh. Um, it was uh was it Barefoot at the Symphony? It was yeah. a PBS special, and we had her in the studio. This was at WNET Channel 13 in New York City, and she yeah. was in the studio with me, my co-host. And she was funny, and she was uh, – I believe she's originally from Long Island, New York, where I'm originally right. from. And right. she was just fantastic. It must have been great, you know, hanging with her too, huh? It was great. And, you know, it was amazing. We were down Disney for a week. And we were rehearsing, Jim. We rehearsed. Uh, now, the, luckily, the start, the the morning call was kind of later. Thank yeah. God, because <laughs> it was like eleven or noon. But we yeah. went on till two a.m. in the morning rehearsing, Jim, for a whole did week. Did you really? We did. We did. And Ooh. by gosh, was it worth it? Because when people see it, it's all the singers are incredible. Um, there was a full orchestra where it was it was set actually um so you can see harmonious itself is actually out on the water gym literally yeah. out on the water in epcot and it's i got the most stunning stunning displays and then the harmonious live stage was set up uh closer to the to land um and it had um the stage had water around it and you know we were able to kind of make our way around that and it was just looks so stunning and if people haven't seen it yet have a look at it because it's stunning it's it'll just blow your mind it's amazing and i'm so honored to have been involved with it i'm on the cd in fact 
Hang on now. I have the harmonious CD here. <laughs> How so, perfectly so, placed. <laughs> so, well, actually, that was a complete accident because <laughs> I'm not usually that organized, Jim. There we go. And you see all those signatures, Jim? Oh, yeah. All? Look at all yeah. that, huh? Yeah. So, do you know what I did? Because I, st you know, I, I still have to get a CD. I, I have a, a little one of those really thin Apple computers and I have to get those external CD players or whatever to play CD. So I can't play CD, but I'm going to frame it because, and, and I went around everybody. I went around and we got everyone to, including Lindsay, to sign my CD, the whole cast. So there it is. Isn't that nice? How and cool is that? I know, huh? I know. And I got my, I got my, my, uh, my little uh, VIP Disney, uh, badge there jim i was i was very honored <laughs> how cool is that huh <laughs> <laughs> wow uh, you know to be tied in with disney is amazing there's my little crystal mickey ears with the disney the 50th anniversary i love it it's just what a wow what an absolute um oh a blessing, you know, a joy, just, an honor, a privilege, yeah. all those things, right? Because Disney, I mean, yeah. we all grew up with, you know, Disney's been around for decades and just such wonderful, beautiful material. And yeah. I bet you felt like a little bit like a kid again, huh? Being surrounded by everything Disney too. I really did. And I had a great companion and partner in Lindsay because she's so vibrant and energetic and just so amazing. And uh, by the way, she's on our Christmas tour at the moment. Go and see it. It's incredible. Wow. Um, I can't wait to see it. I'm going to I'm going to see it hopefully um, um, soon, I hope. And um, but she was just such a, a lovely, uplifting person as yes. well. And um, so it was great. And it was just so great to do Harmonious. It was amazing. Tell us about, you just mentioned uh, tour. Tell us about touring that's happening as well. That's exciting. It's really exciting, you know, to support Celtic Spells, the album. Um, we're going to be touring. We're going to be starting off on the West Coast. And the dates are on my website and also on Bands in Town. Uh, so dates are just being slowly added because, as you know, Jim, the venues um, are kind of still kind of feeding through all their 2020 and even some of their their little bit of 2019. They still have to feed through all that, and and then they take new dates. So there's they're being added on the west coast. Um, so they're on my website and um, they're on bandsintown.com. If you type in Raid Nesbitt, you can follow me there. And also Celtic Spells has its own uh, following. Um, and profile on bands in town for those dates and also on instagram at celtic spells so do please follow us everyone at celtic spells and hopefully we're going to see everyone on tour and um and i can't wait for everyone to hear the album that's out in march 2023 and man of the house is out in a few days jim i can't believe it it's out in a few days for single <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cool? I mean, it's really, are you going to have a, a little party at your house? Are you going to celebrate? I imagine you're going to celebrate, right? That's really cool. Yeah, we, we, you know what? We might have to have. <laughs> yeah. we, might have to. <laughs> we might have to have it. And, you know, um, I love that tune. Do you know that tune, Jim? Here, I'll play a little bit of it. Yeah, um, yes, that's right. You're going to play some uh, well, material for just, us. Yeah, Appreciate you that. know. They love the when you thing. do that. Aww. It's such a sport. We really thank you when you do that. Yeah, and listen, everyone, if you have any requests, just jot them down in the chat, and I'll, uh, that's very risky, isn't it, Jim? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, all right, you just heard that, so, gang, in the chat room. If there's any yeah, requests you want Mairead to play live your... right now, yeah. let us know right now in chat, exclusively on our show, and she'll do it. Yeah, you know, and I will play anything you want, as long as it's something I know. <laughs> <laughs> That helps. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> but, yes, you know, the whole, the, um, what I love about Celtic Spells, um, and thankfully I thought about doing this, is there's a beautiful theme. And I'll, play, I'll actually play that on the viola for you in a little bit. But there's a beautiful theme for Iru. Iru is the girl. And it means Ireland, Iru. Mm. It's the ancient world for Ireland. Everyone knows Aaron, Aaron 
uh, for Ireland. But yeah. even even Iru is even older. And um, there's also a goddess Iru as well, hence the Celtic spells. And um, so Iru has this theme going through all the show. And it's at the very beginning of of this man of the house, even though this is a lively reel, um, you know, there's there's the beautiful theme beforehand, and that is the thread through the journey, Jim, you know. Mm. But um, yeah, so this is the kind of the American kind of one um, that has the so it has the kind of double stopping like a along like that in a kind of a loop gym and then yeah. it goes right into the tune and it's kind of it's just so lively and uplifting it has that whole kind of groove going on um, and yeah. that I kind of from City on a Hill I got inspired from with that wow. and cool. it's just Beautiful. Um, it, yeah it's 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 cute and then um so that's what that obviously folks that's not the whole single <laughs> <It's> way, <laughs> there's way a little bit more <laughs> That's just a little teaser, and we're we're getting it's way requests better, way too. better than that. I promise you, you won't be sorry. Download it on all platforms. Man of the House, October twenty eighth, and people love the viola, Jim. I've, yes, I've they noticed. Do. Yes, you know, it's a beautiful and, instrument. Yeah, and uh, let me see, Iru's theme. Um, yeah, so th this is gorgeous. <laughs> And that theme just threads the whole yeah. journey um, yeah. and all your the heart, way through. Doesn't it? Yeah. I know. It's that so nice. I love it. the tone. <laughs> did you ever uh, touch upon the cello at all? Did you ever attempt the cello, which is an, one of another beautiful, one of my favorite instruments, the warmth and depth of the cello. I, I've interviewed some people. There was a, I think I mentioned to you, there was somebody from cellist from Juilliard and this was in my professional work. Oh. It was a television interview. And I mentioned how the, the cello, you know, when I very hear it, it stops traffic for me, the warmth, the depth, sort of that melancholy sound. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, that makes sense, Jim, because this is one of the instruments that's closest in sound to the human voice. Yes. That's why you're humanizing it. And when you hear it, no matter whether it's in any piece of music, whether it's solo or with an orchestral backing, whether it's underscoring or it's even in Christmas music, you hear that and you're like, oh. And he said it, it's it's that sound, the tonal quality. Have you you've toyed with the cello too, right? I I um in the Ursline Convent where I went to school in Thurles in County Tipperary in Ireland, um, when I was really, really young, and they had cellos there and I tried it and it's so beautiful. It's it's certainly I think my favorite instrument, Jim. I think yeah. it's my favorite instrument. I don't play it at all now, but yeah. it's my favorite instrument to hear. And they say that about the violin as well, that it's yeah. the closest to the human voice. Yes. And um, so it's it's really, really beautiful. It certainly is. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm like I'm I, I think everyone is, is putting some comments there, I think. So yes, we actually have James. Welcome, James. James is watching. We've got folks watching literally from all around the world. If you're joining us for the first time, I'm your host, Jim Masters. This is our Entertainment Lifestyle Variety live talk show series that we've been doing almost a thousand episodes of, which I cannot believe. And, Congratulations. Uh, could you imagine that? <laughs> Hundreds of them. You can binge watch all of them on our channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Jim Masters TV. We would love it. Leave a comment. Uh, give us a thumbs up sign. My very special guest is a dear friend, longtime friend. We've known each other, as I mentioned, ever since Celtic Woman 
put their feet on the grounds here in America. And that's some like 15 years ago, which is incredible. <laughs> and it's so rare, you know, to, for people in these crazy, very busy businesses to stay in touch and stay friends, isn't it? And that's why I'm really yeah. extra, you know, uh, blessed as I know you feel you are that we've stayed connected because that doesn't always happen in these industries where people, they say they're going to stay in touch, but you know, life gets in the way, but we've yeah. managed to stay in touch and stay friends. Absolutely, Jim. I mean, I remember the first time we ever met and uh, on PBS, on, nat on uh, national PBS. And, um, you know, we, we said, rightly said that you're our favorite TV host. You and guys did say that. Yes, we did. We said it on television, actually. And um, we just um, it's so great, Jim. And um, it was this night when you said it, you and Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> That was nice. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. that's so, brilliant. I mean, yeah. it was just, and it's true. It's true. I mean, um, for people to stay in touch and, you know, it, it doesn't have to be every day or even every week, but we, we text once in a while and yeah. we keep in touch and, um, and it's you, like, we pick up where we left off. We pick up where we left off. That's exactly what we do. Yeah, you know? exactly, exactly. We and, uh, we do um, have some question, uh, some uh, requests coming in here. Oh, we do. Yeah, Let's hope I know D. them. Uh, was it Captain H? Oh, Captain H. Oh my God, I haven't played that in ages. Okay. There's right. that. Uh, there's a couple more here. Let's see. There's that one. And what else did they request? I think uh, Marilyn. Welcome, Marilyn. Welcome, everybody. Uh, the butterfly. James yeah. mentioned uh, Merrily Kiss the Quaker. And my friend Kathleen, who I introduced you to once when we all got together. Remember, we got together. I don't know. Did we go to the Russian tea room? We went somewhere yes. after one of the shows and Kathleen was there. She yes. says uh, she's in New York. Married, you look beautiful as always. Beautiful inside, oh. too. Yeah, so she oh says hello to New York. Oh, Kathleen, hi. I, yeah. I really, when next time we're in New York, I, I we need to meet up. We yes. need to meet up. And I'm going to give, Jim has my phone number. So yeah. Jim's going yeah. gonna to pass on my phone number we'll to get you. All, we'll, we'll all get together. Exactly. We'll have to. Absolutely. And pick so, up where we left off. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Well, okay. So Captain H is a tune I wrote, actually. Yeah. So thanks very much for picking it. And I can barely remember, so I'll try my best. <laughs> but I wrote this tune and it's on Hibernia. And um, and actually Hibernia now and the Devil's Bit Sessions, which is my family album, but Hibernia, both those albums are are have done have got an overhaul and they're both back up on all platforms, all platforms. Um, and so it's really great. Um, Congratulations uh, on that. And yeah, yeah. My record company, Valley Entertainment, um, have put them back up and they're there to stream and, and you know, all, all of the fun stuff, all of that. So make sure and, go, you know, go into your Spotify or go, go into any of your streaming platforms and uh, download Hibernia and the family album Devil's Bit Sessions. Um, and I've, I'll tell you the story about, about that name because it's it's yeah. kind of a weird name, Devil's Bit Sessions. So I'll get, but anyway, I'll play a tiny bit of Captain H, okay? Absolutely. All right, here we go. <laughs> A little bit of Captain H, as you can see. As so you can nice. see, I haven't played it in a while and I got yeah. stuck. So <laughs> <laughs> nobody knew a thing. Nobody knew a thing. Our little, our little secret. Nobody, nobody knew. That's so nice, really. Yeah. Um, so what was the other one? Oh, butterfly. Butterfly, yes. And then uh quasi Tom, and that's how he says it. Quasi Tom requesting a little there is no night, so beautiful. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, I'll do a little bit of the Rizzo Night and then I'll play a little bit of the Butterfly afterwards. How's that? You're okay. Here we go. 
Oh. Okay. such a beautiful song isn't it it's so and you just really knock it out of the park my friend you really you know add your little spin to it They're beautifully beautifully done you know there's just something Thank about you. all this music that really touches people's hearts uh and souls d says uh she is just too amazing i know i know i agree <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, lots of smiles coming in here. And Marsha. Cheers. And cheers. Yes. Cheers. cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Slancha. <laughs> Slancha. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Slancha. What do you have in there? I just have some nice coffee. I, I just have water. I'm very boring. <laughs> <laughs> And it's, 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 and it's not special water either. It's not yeah. Ishkabaha. It's water, water. <laughs> yeah, it's just real water. Um, you know, Jen had been asking, I think she asked several times, and I think there was something you did recently with Hocus Pocus. Come oh, Little yes. Children from Hocus Pocus. Oh, Have okay. It, Does she want uh, me to play that? She just asked about that. Yeah, oh. I wonder maybe a little of that. I did. That was something you know recent what? you just played, right? Uh, I did. I played it on the violin, but I tried on the viola. How about ooh, that? Cool. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, it's when I was in Salem and we did this video um, literally in, uh, in um, and I just want a big, a big shout out also to the Charter Cemetery, Charter Street Cemetery in Salem, Mass. Massachusetts, and, yeah. Yes, and I just want to say a big shout out to them for allowing me to do my little video clips there. Um, it was amazing. And I just want a big shout out to Amber and Mark, who are the most gracious, gracious people. And they, they, you know, I just went in, I had my fill on my back and Tiffany was with me. And we went in and we were looking around the place and having a look at the shop. It's a welcome center. Yeah. And, um, it's so a cool place, Salem, isn't it? A lot of history cool there. Place. Yeah. And Amanda said, I love your work to me. And I went, oh, my gosh, thank you. <laughs> and, and then I said, I wonder, would you mind me doing a, a video clip or two? And she said, no, no, no. She was so helpful to us and so kind. 
So I just want to be a big shout out to Amber and Mark at the Charter Street Cemetery in Mass. <laughs> That's incredible, so, right? Yeah, and so you I, know, it's this time of the year too, with the fall foliage in New England, it's it's the place to be. Gorgeous. It is. It is, it is. And I'll try this in the viola. This is uh, one of the themes from Hocus Pocus. Um, and um, it is um, the, the um, Come Little Children, I think. Uh, and um, it is a beautiful, beautiful tune. It's very Celtic, actually. Yeah. Very Celtic. And it's from the movie. So people will, 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 will know it. Absolutely. <laughs> Beautifully done, my friend. Beautifully Thanks. done. One of our viewers, Merlin in Canada, said, what's the difference between playing, between playing the violin and the fiddle? She had that question. Oh. Sometimes people hear fiddle, they hear violin, yeah. they're not sure. Well, I mean, if they're both the same instrument, you know, yeah, but like right. say a fiddle, uh, like we, we tend to kind of say a fiddle of, uh, for this kind of, you know, um, um just kind of double stops and more country music and and traditional irish music and that kind of thing and That's then I'm gonna ask you country music and folk is so big in ireland it is, is. That an air, did you do you see yourself ever immersing deeper into country and even maybe having a country album or anything along those lines because there's such a relationship between ireland united states and country and folk it's incredible yeah i mean absolutely and i think celtic spells touches off that that journey uh, from Ireland to the United States to the whole country element and Man of the House actually that's coming out at the end of the month, October 28th, that touches off that, the country aspect to it, um, especially with the beginning and the whole vibe of it. And it's, um, um, there's a lot of, uh, I, I overlaid a lot of different fiddles, like five fiddles on it. So to give it that power and that kind of country feel and uh, almost like, so it's a country feel, but all, all, also like a session in Ireland kind of feel, you know, when you're in a pub in Ireland and you, you hear all these amazing fiddle players playing in unison together. And um, so it does touch off that Celtic Spells does so luckily. So that's really, it's a really good point. That's incredible. <laughs> uh, I think, that, what was the other one? The butterfly, I think they mentioned. Was that the, the one? The butterfly, which I did. Yes, yeah. that was great Um, because they're still asking about that. What was the other one? There was another one that they mentioned. Let's see if we can scroll back. You, um, you I think the... it was a polka. It was a, um, it was Merle Kiss the Quaker. Oh yeah, Merle Kiss yes, the Quaker. Yes, that's the one, yes. Right. Okay, so. <laughs> You know, and just watching you, which I've you know seen you in person doing it as well. You you have this smile on your face, and you almost look like you're in, you're floating, like you're in a trance, like you're in your really happy place. You're in your zone when you're playing. What what happens to you? I ask this question often of of performers who stop by the show. 
what is happening to you inside when you are hearing the sound, when you are interpreting the music and sharing it with us? What What is happening, the transformation inside yeah. you? I think, you know, it's there's two different things that happen. Um, when I'm playing on my own, kind of just playing tunes that I haven't played in a while and that I'm trying to kind of get them back and and it's more of an introverted thing and it's more of a meditation thing and like you know inside and you're meditating and you're you're really helping your fingers get through the tune and and different things you you, you know your mind you might be improvising in your mind so that's coming out as well so it's you know because we sometimes you know a lot of the time we don't play the the, the tune the same way um every time so there's a lot of improvisation going on and then in a in a kind of a a um, audience situation what happens then is you know you've got a a an outside force literally there in front of you transmitting their energy towards you so you take you know you have prepared and everything and you know you want to kind of transmit the same meditative process to them and so that they feel relaxed and then but you're also getting all this energy back which is a good thing it's a great mm -hmm. thing and you're getting all this energy back so i love kind of interacting with the audience in that point and so it's a more one one way is a more introverted way and the other way is a more extroverted way because you're giving out what you're what you're taking in from the audience it's like a circle mm, you know right feeding Whereas off the when, energy and giving it back exactly so yeah. when you're on your own it's more it's yourself it's like you know kind of and 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 also the universe and god and what whatever you know anyone believes in and and you know that kind of extra for extra thing but it's um yeah. Uh, very important obviously um yeah. and it gives you that's that what what gives us our gifts kind of thing and you're like the you know, conduit you're, the facilitator of that yes divine energy flowing through you right yes and it's less pressure because you're it's it's yourself well sometimes it's it's you probably know about this jim but sometimes it's probably the the hardest to impress yourself i mean absolutely. actually absolutely yeah yes. you never impress yourself no 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 however even if you don't impress yourself, you're not you 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 you're not gonna, you know, if you fall on your face or whatever, or you drop something or a string breaks or you know that it doesn't really matter. Whereas it does matter if you've got the extra element of an audience. It does matter then because right. obviously it's an extra thing that you have to take into consideration into this circle. You know. Yes, right. Exactly. Yeah. That's so yeah. well put, right? You know, uh, when you're under stress, when life, it does get a little crazy, mm -hmm. you know, for a lot of people, music is not only a universal language, brings everybody together and it's very healing. Do you turn to music as well? Does your playing, is it almost like as much as it is a, a conduit of this fabulous energy from above and from, from everywhere, is it also very therapeutic for you as well? It is. Um, it is very therapeutic and especially playing with my family members yeah. um like for instance with the devil's bit sessions um that was just an absolute precious gift because you know we all got together three generations in a house that's over 300 years old that all, my father who's the youngest of seven boys they all got born in that house and mm. um we were in the old music room that my grandmother used to play the fiddle in and um you know so it's um they lived with us our grand our grandparents lived with us yeah, and um right. so her fiddle is still hanging up on the wall and mm. you, you know really i think from a therapeutic what you were saying about a stress thing um all the stress goes away when when i'm in ireland actually yeah. and uh, with my family and being able to kind of play uh, with them and of course and even the album the, which would normally be a stressful thing for people kind of i mean it wasn't stressful and like a, a gentleman of um a rec who recorded the album he was so so relaxed brian masterson who uh, there you go brian masterson. You, these connections Gone. are unbelievable <laughs> um, and he has done masters all the is the british name yeah. it is the irish english name yeah 
so he recorded all of U2's albums and all of, um, you know, he's the most amazing, he's a Grammy winning uh, recording uh, uh, record uh, producer um, sure, and yeah. uh, recording engineer and producer. But anyway, he was down the house and he, you know, we had, we set up all the mics and all around the room and it was just, it was just great. And um, so that was a very, you know, even though it should have been a stressful situation, it was a very um, a relaxed kind of way because yeah. we just did one takes of everything. And then we talked, there's a, we talked between every track and that was all recorded as well. So it's, it's nice that that's still, that that's back on Spotify now and all the platforms. It's great. I'm delighted because it's just a gift for us to have it there too. And for everybody else who, who likes family music, yeah, I imagine your family, you know, because it is in the family, it's in the blood. Mm -hmm. They must be very proud of you, too, because you you left Ireland and you came with Celtic Woman to America mm -hmm. and have this wonderful, you know, long term uh, friendship with Celtic Woman. But then also created some of your own world, too, here in America and in Ireland and branched out and created all these wonderful things. You got involved on the Broadway production of Rocktopia. You've worked mm -hmm. on specials with our friend Tim Janis that we've worked together with and performed at these great concert halls. And now you've got Celtic Spells. I would imagine they must look back and say, wow, uh, she's done good. Maraid is something. She's a spitfire. She's got spunk. <laughs> she's got tenacity, passion. When she believes in something, she really goes after it and then shares it. She's going to keep it all herself. She shares it with everybody. I would imagine as proud as you are of them, which you definitely hear in this conversation because you refer to them a lot, they must be extremely proud of what their, their daughter, their sister, yeah. their, you know, what has become of Maraid through all of your hard work? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm sure they are, you know, and um, they it, it's it's almost something that doesn't really have to be said. If we all have, um, you know, a, a supportive. Um, we're very supportive of each other, and um, we're just so delighted when anything special happens, like Carl's uh, albums coming out, and. Um, all of his albums um, are, are, you know, literally he has, he, he's just released two albums literally recently and another album coming out. And um, so it's, it's great when he does all his stuff and, um, you know, I do my stuff. And then my sister is a, an amazing piano player, violinist. Um, and my, of course, my mother and father are amazing musicians. And my, Sean, Michael and Noel are amazing musicians as well. So it's, it's, um, it is, um, I guess, you know what, Jim, it's like, uh, you know, um, we're very lucky uh, to have each other and to support each other and um, just to take in the moments. And that's what you have to do. That's really what it's about. Exactly. That's what it's all about. And a great life lesson for those watching who are thinking about, you know, entering into this world as well. You probably give people uh, extraordinary advice when they want to go into, uh, yeah. into music. It, it, you know, it, it looks a lot easier than it actually is. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and I've been at it so long and it's, it's, yeah. it's not easy. It's not. And, um, I come up with new challenges all the time that, that challenge me, um, whether it be, I, I don't know if you, the most, I, I, I guess the most pertinent challenge that that has been for me is all of the social media you have to do and all of the oh, uh, yeah. videos and clips and my goodness. It's constant like you'd be now, yeah. Yeah, you'd be lucky if you get to touch the instrument at all at the end of the day, <laughs> you know? And that's that's a challenge. And I'm very, very lucky to have Tiffany Moore who helps me with that a lot. And But you have to have somebody like that um, who yeah. is, is helping you. And, you know, and then, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, Lindsay Sterling, she's so... Um, supportive you know yeah. um so supportive and you have all these other musicians who are so supportive um of course my friend my best friend Fanula sherry from secret garden who played it was the original recording of you raise me up um uh with secret garden they're going on tour actually in in, in norway soon uh for mm. their for their uh, christmas tour and um another amazingly supportive violinist you know we all have to support each other we have to because yes. it's the only way that we can all kind of rise up together exactly uh 
One quick we want a quick thing we want to slip in here is that clip that you sent, which is the Happy St. Patrick's Day. Tell us about that, and we'll play that for them. Yes, well, this Our fabulous is, love yeah. Oh, well, this this clip is from Celtic Spells. Uh, it's a promotion clip, and it is. Um, you know, I love it because it has a track called The Wedding, which is one of the tracks from Celtic Spells. And uh, that'll be coming out next year sometime, but you get to hear it here first. And um, it's it's lively and it's from the, the part in the show where the couple get married. Uh -huh. And it's a great tune called Mary's Wedding and and going into um, uh, it's 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 really lovely. I loved I love that tune and it might be some more on this clip as well. So I hope you all enjoy. This is from Celtic Spells. And Celtic Spells itself, the album will be out in March 2023. And Man of the House single from Celtic Spells is out October 28th. So this is a general, um, that's the, that's, thank you, Jim. Wow, you are good. That's Man of the House. And um, that's the single cover. And that's going to be on all platforms. And that is the cover of the album as well. This um, photo of you is absolutely extraordinary. I mean, just you. your expression and the hair and the, it's unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> you, well, you've yeah. taken so many fabulous photos, <laughs> but this particular one is just extraordinary. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, I have to, I have to give credit to the photographer, John Hassett pho photography, John Hassett, because he really captures something. huh? Well, you're not going to believe it. He took that live yeah. in, uh, from the stage in, in Broadway live. That was a live shot from Broadway, from the stage. And I don't know how he got it. It is perfect and I love it. And thanks, John, for, he, he gave me that photo and he's given me loads more from that from that uh, shoot. And it's, I just wanna say thanks to John Hassett for that. James Kinnear has asked this question and a good audition advice. So if you're auditioning, Ooh. he's auditioning for the traditional music course at RCS in Glasgow soon. Oh. Any words of wisdom would be welcome. Congratulations and good luck, James. Wow, and I like your luck, first James. name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From one James to another. <laughs> wow. Good luck, James. Wow. That's amazing. First of all, congrats. And um, um, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Um, visiting there. I don't know if you're doing it online or if you're doing it, uh, if you're actually going to go to Scotland and do it there. And I would say, um, obviously, preparation is everything. Um, actually, Carl, my brother, Carl Nesbitt, um, he, he, it's an equation that he said, he said to me now, I wonder if I'll get it right. Okay. So preparation, <laughs> yeah. preparation equals, no, I, now I have it now. I have it. Okay. We'll rewind. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> performance equals no performance equals. Oh, I have it now. <laughs> Third time lucky. Third time lucky, Jim. You want to okay. call him? <laughs> it's Bobby home. He's watching. Can, can I phone a friend? That's good. Phone a friend. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, okay. So so okay. Preparation minus. Inter minus interference equals performance. Preparation minus interference equals performance. So your preparation is all your preparation, your prep, James. Practice, 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 practice uh, uh, so much that you can play it backwards, literally. Yeah. And, yeah. and play in front of people as well. I would play in front of people yes. so that when you get nervous in front of people, it's gone. You can, yeah. you can shake it off and throw it away and keep playing in front of people, practice um, and prepare. The interference, uh, preparation minus interference. Interference is mental. So your interference is, oh, what if I don't do well? Or, oh, I'm really nervous. Oh, this, oh, that, you know? So, so that's the interference. You just have to really try and block that out and, and the preparation will get rid of your interference, okay? Equals, performance and there's your performance she, right she got it i tell you that's fantastic i mean <laughs> james hopefully that helps you um yeah. and the fact that you were able to remember that because that's quite a statement um i know i hard time lucky <laughs> yes and, and you know what i say to that omg <laughs> omg omg <laughs> there we are yeah <laughs> 
we're known for some funny picks uh, as well. And uh, he's he's from Edinburgh, so just a bus oh. ride to Glasgow. So. Oh, amazing! You're from Edinburgh. Oh, oh, wow! Um, so what a beautiful place, first of all. Yeah. And um, you're going to be amazing, James. It'll be brilliant. I have yeah. faith in you. You have to have faith in yourself. Just you practice, practice, faith. practice. Play in front of people. Make sure you're prepared. And I'm, I'm, I promise you, it'll all work out. That's it. And now here's that uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. We have that clip here, which we're excited to share with everybody watching around the world. My special guest, Marie Nesbitt, coming to us here. She's in the, the United States at the moment. And uh, here is a little bit from Celtic Spells. Enjoy. Very nice, very nice, huh? Yeah, well, um, actually, I was wrong. That's not Mari's wedding. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> um, that was, um, do you remember I was talking about Yuru's theme, about the girls' theme, and that's beautiful dancer Kate Schmidt uh, from Boston. She's beautiful, and um, she was Yuru in that little promo clip. And um, that was done in Sound Lab, uh, in the gorgeous Sound Lab studios in um, here in New Hampshire. And um, it's just amazing place, uh, the Sound Lab studios, amazing, amazing place. And the beautiful backdrops, Jim, did you see those? They're yes. so Yes. Yeah. Really so, beautiful, huh? Yeah. So that was Iru's theme and, and Iru's slip jig. It was a slip jig. Wow, that's fantastic. That That's a little preview there. It's going to be really exciting. And they're saying that too. Wow mm -hmm. and awesome. And <laughs> Jane, she's watching in Sweden, one of our loveties. She loves this. And uh, I tell you, they're really... It's it's going to be something really cool. And as I mentioned, it's been something you have literally been working on for quite some time. And uh, yeah. it's, it's so exciting to see it all come together and come to uh, fruition. Just want to show again, Man of the House is coming out in just a matter of days. You can look for that. Again, where can people get that? They can download it and everything, Spotify, yep. all that. It's uh, absolutely all the streaming platforms uh, all on um, October 28th. It'll be on all the streaming platforms. Also, I'll have a link on all my socials as well um that and on my website on my um on my socials really because that's easier for people on instagram facebook TikTok, and um all of the above and but literally it's on everything on all the so on the streaming platforms uh october 28th and actually i think i'll be sharing if anyone wants to keep an eye on my socials i'll be sharing that link the day before or the day of the morning of the morning mm -hmm. of so Cool. Um, and and I actually might send it to you, Jim, if that's okay. Oh, I would love like that. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> that would be, I would absolutely Thank you. love that. I so really appreciate it. Thanks, Jim. Oh, my pleasure. And sharing it on all the socials. I'm kind of hoping that they don't create any more socials because it, like you say, it's so tough just keeping up with all the social media platforms that there are yeah. already. I think we're good with the bunch that we have now <laughs> I know. To keep I coming know. out with more that you've got to like stay connected with huh you won't get it we won't get any work done <laughs> i know i know i saw a really funny clip and it wasn't funny really but actually i thought it was really funny on instagram a friend of mine um well well she's not actually i'm terrible to call her a friend of mine it's just that i know of her she's a yeah. great comedian dear okay in oh, Ireland yeah. and she had she had she had on her phone right she was sitting on her couch and she said look guys I'm over it right I'm over it 
um you know i have a show coming up i'm not doing another video i can't i i can't keep up with these young ones with the videos i can't keep up so just you know the show's coming up blah 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 and it's it's really good so just go <laughs> <laughs> just and go I mean, just I, enjoy yeah. i totally I totally get it. I was I kind of going, too. you know what? She's absolutely right. She's right. <laughs> She's 110% right. I saw a, a really funny cartoon once and it was, it was all these, it was inside um, a funeral home and it was the wake for this person. You didn't see the person, but you saw yeah. sort of the outline of the casket and you saw this man and woman standing wow. there leaning over you know looking at the casket it was a friend of theirs and then you saw rows and rows of these empty, empty chairs seats. except for one person this guy sitting in the back row and in this cartoon um you saw <laughs> the woman sort of like saying to the husband <laughs> Gee, I would have thought the turnout would have been bigger considering he had 2,000 Facebook friends. Oh. <laughs> but there was nobody there but them and the guy oh. in the back. <laughs> oh, my God. So it's sort of like, you know. <laughs> I saw. I, you well, know that's, what? that's social media. I mean, that's they use it. the word. That's but yeah. I think I saw that. I think that was in the New York Times or something. I thought I, it, I saw that. that. That was actually brilliant. It was brilliant. You Wasn't know? that and, funny? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Then there was another one. There was another one where the, the husband and wife, no, it was the husband and the doctor looking at the leaning over the wife. And the wife is in the hospital bed, pregnant, getting ready to give birth soon. And they have the monitor where you can see almost the image of the baby in the womb. And there, they, it was something about the fact that, oh, we have to, you know, before the birth happens, we have to make sure we live stream it. <laughs> <laughs> their personal, you know, their personal thing yeah, now becomes yeah. a worldwide thing. Uh, I know, I know. So I it's... think hopefully, I think there, I think some things, a lot of things should still remain personal to you and yes. within your family and friends. For because sure. I think if you, if you give everything away then you have yeah. nothing for yourself and nothing for those quiet times with yeah. you know your loved ones so yeah I, I don't think you have to give everything away right <laughs> keep some for oh, yourself i completely agree with you i completely agree and um, you know it's um but you know um the thing is too i, I you know uh, i have there there is an article coming out in a magazine soon that i did uh, oh, really? Not that I did. I didn't do the article. I was the subject of the article and um, uh, interview. And it is Celtic Life magazine. Celtic Life magazine. Celtic and they're big Life. on they're big on socials and they have the great. And um, it's coming out. I think it's coming out really soon. And I, you know, really kind of said they asked me, I think one of the questions was, what advice would you give somebody in the music starting out in the music industry? And and I said, Okay, so it's changed so much it has <laughs> since completely I started. Changed. Yes. Uh, now you have uh, streaming platforms and all of this. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God there was no um and, and it's so funny. I remember being on Celtic Woman on on one of the first, I don't know, might have been the fifth tour we did or something like yeah. that. One of the first ones anyway. Of many. And yeah. I remember yeah, I remember seeing um when I was first doing my violin line on my website like I and I was talking Jeff Salzman was talking to me on the phone and he goes um Marie you've got a really big following on Facebook and I went what face what and uh, <laughs> yeah, and I Facebook? remember what's that I, <laughs> and I remember I remember making a profile for myself and I promptly forgot all about it right and I didn't you know Re totally didn't remember that I had done that so kind of like what people did with the one before that MySpace <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I yeah, did. I wasn't that, that one? I wasn't that courageous with my. Yeah. Face. I wasn't. Um, so anyway, I did that, and Jeff said, "No, it's good because we can, you know, maybe put a post about the violin line on that." And I went, "I mean, yeah. Uh, let me see. Can I get into this?" And I went. In, I got in, and I went. Oh my goodness! I did this ages ago. I I probably had done it the previous year, and it got up to thirty thousand followers or something with no posts at with all. With anything happening, with right? nothing happening. Now it's a lot more now, but like it's it's um. So I I couldn't believe it. So from that point of view, I said to this person who asked me the question, 
I said, you know, really, um, we have our management manager and we have an agent. We, we, we would do that. However, um, if you can have somebody to help you with socials, mm. um, I would say if you're going into college to do music, do a business, do a modern business course as well. Do all the accounting and all, uh, do your business, your business course, as well as your music. Do both in, in maybe an arts degree or something like both. But they're the subjects I would pick because it is crucial. And I've been caught so many times, Jim, with the mm. whole business aspect of it. I've learned yes. a lot from it. That's why they but call it show business. Business, yeah. And contracts. And my mm. manager, Neil Grover, is so amazing at this because mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you know, he's just just incredible with, with the business knows, side of things. Right. Make and, sure everything is um, good, right. Yeah, contracts and, and everything like that. But, you know, socials are important from the point of view of it's your, sometimes that's why venues, venues might pick you because you have a big social following to do yeah, a concert that's big there. now, yeah. Yes, and then, but then it's up to them and you to publicize the event on your socials. And so socials are good for publicity. And that's all, I, really all I use mine for, Jim. It's right. really for publicity. Right, and exactly. Maybe, and I do have the Mairead Nesbitt family, the Mairead Nesbitt family um, on, on Facebook. And I'm going to have a secret little Mairead Nesbitt group on Instagram very soon as well that I put up really personal, like little personal things that, that people can see that's me, you know. But other than that, I wouldn't be. It's a secret group yes. coming soon, coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> on Instagram. The secret <laughs> on Instagram. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, Mairead Nesbitt Celtic Violinist is my Instagram. And I believe it's my Facebook as well. <laughs> and and I know I'm on TikTok. I'm definitely on TikTok. I, I think um, I, you know. Uh, if you go on my website, you'll see all the social handles because it's really important, everybody. The one last thing I'll say is that even if it just makes sure that you have the right account, because there are a lot of fan sites out there and even people yeah. impersonating people. And some so, people can make fake ones and that's not yeah. really you and not really you speaking or, yeah. or anybody else speaking. Right. Exactly. You have to yeah. keep... Uh, keep watch for that uh, what else coming up anything else uh, exciting i mean we've talked about a lot of wonderful things and i'm so excited yeah. and happy for you and and really cool stuff to look out forward to and i can't yes. wait to you know we're together again but anything else mm -hmm. coming up that you're excited about the holidays are right here the Will holidays you be are, are celebrating yeah. here are you going to go see the family in ireland the holidays are coming Holidays yeah, are coming. coming. So, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm really excited. I have a concert coming up, the first of my Christmas concerts coming up uh, with the Frida Brothers and the wonderful Ryan Murray soprano and orchestra. So that's Ooh. coming up really soon. Now, please get details for that. I am going to be putting the details for that up on bandsintown.com today. Bandsintown.com. Bands in Town. If you follow Mairead Nesbitt on Bands in Town, you'll get all the details for that concert coming up. And that is, I believe, December 7th, but I need to put up the details today and they'll be on my website as well, mairead.nesbittviolin.com or mairead.nesbitt.com. It will get it as well. So um, that's I'm really excited about that concert coming up, coming up because I'll be playing old favorites like Carl of the Bells, What Child mm. Is This, and lots of lovely, lovely Christmas um, things with the lovely orchestra and yeah. um, these two, the two Frida brothers. They're amazing Frida music and um, they're amazing singers. And Ryan Murray is an amazing singer as well. So lots of great stuff in that concert. And I'll have the details up on my website today. And um, so that's going to be great. And then, Jim, I go to Ireland after that, a few days after that. And I go home for Christmas. I'll be yeah. home for Christmas. I tell you, that's what it's about. Oh, you can. <laughs> you can. <laughs> there she goes. Okay. Home for Christmas. You can plan on me. Let's see. 
trees have snow and mistletoe and presents on the tree. Very nice. Join us, everybody. I'll be home for Christmas If only in my dreams Aww. That's, that's lovely, uh, Very Sam. nice. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> I, uh, I was determined or destined or designated when I was in sixth grade with music teacher, Mrs. Sebastian. I'm an alto. <laughs> Mm. I'm an oh, yes. wow. Yeah. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, it That's is. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. A little bit of a lower range. Yeah. I love singing. I, I, people have asked me to do it a lot on this show, and I really haven't done it, you know, because I'm yeah. always doing all this other, but I really want to. And I'm behind the scenes putting a few surprises together and in that vein. And I'll, share that coming up as well which is cool wow. <laughs> some cool stuff yeah pam says this is a wonderful joyous show then that <laughs> means we have done our job merlin says right it has been a blast your personality is contagious i told you <laughs> linda in florida welcome Ray, to jim's lovely show yay carol of the bells absolutely oh, yeah. i love it too mm-hmm Good stuff. Jen Berry, uh, she's in Pennsylvania. She says that was awesome. Jim and Maraid, our pleasure. And uh, always a cool time when we're together, my friend. Really, really absolutely yes. love it. Yes. This was nice. Kathleen says, uh, Maraid, it's just so great seeing you here. I hope we all get together again someday. You're an amazing performer and a very special person. Absolutely. Aww. Gary, good to see you here. And uh, it's been a great show today. Thank you very much if it's your first time. We're here every day. Check us out. There's hundreds of episodes you can binge watch. Wow. Marsha says hello to all. Good stuff. Really beautiful. You're the best, my friend. I appreciate the time. Oh, I'm so oh. excited about all the cool things that are happening. And I'm glad we were able to put this together to catch up because, you know, we do our annual catch ups all the time. But uh, to do it on the show on the heels of some really exciting things. There's Celtic Spells, which we're talking about. And of course, that beautiful shot, but on the 28th, Man of the House, yes. And of course, you know, her violin collection, and she's got so many things up her sleeve. You thought I was busy. <laughs> Absolutely cool stuff. And and of course, like you said, uh, sort of like a remastering of uh, Hibernia, too, is another thing yeah. to look out for. And yeah, it's all, your... on all platforms and um, Devil's Bit Sessions. The, yes. the, the Devil's Bit is the local mountain in Tipperary. So that's why it's called Devil's Bit Sessions. And um, so I, you know, I'm sure we're going, Jim, but I just want to play play everyone out maybe. Um, oh, absolutely. With, with Anything you want to do. Spells. Yeah. And um, yeah. just a little tune called The Wedding. Absolutely. Mary's Wedding. And hopefully we'll see you again soon, Jim. The door is always open. You're welcome back oh. here as well. And absolutely, uh, James says, amazing time saying hi from Scotland. Good to see you, James. Thanks, everybody who's watching live. You'll be able to watch this again on our YouTube channel, Gym Masters TV. Subscribe, and you can share the link and enjoy this fabulous conversation once again and the music of Mairead Nesbitt. And here she is. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mm. Bravo, my friend. Bravo. <laughs> right back at you. And uh, that's a, that's a, you just, I just love watching you because you're, you're so involved. You're so like, <laughs> All of you is in it. And if you've never gotten a chance to see, maybe you've seen her on television and other, you know, on videos and internet and everything, but whatever she's in, including Celtic spells, but anything, watch her live, watch her do her thing. Not only is she an amazing talent, but she plays off the energy, as she said, which I love to do as well, you know, the energy of those around you and then gives it back tenfold but plays off the energy of what's happening on stage, the musicians, the other performers, if there are other performers, like you did when you were in Rocktopia. I mean, you knocked it out of the park on Broadway with that. You were so on fire, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which you always are. <laughs> yeah, which, you know, you you always are. Uh, crazy Tom. <laughs> and I'm not mispronouncing that. That's how he spells it, Ken. I know. Hi, Tom. Hey, Tom. I know, I know Tom. It's so good to see you here, Tom. Yes. He, <laughs> he said, yeah, he loved it. He said, uh, thanks for entertaining us, Jim and Marie. Absolutely. Our pleasure. Jane in Sweden. Great, Jim. Thank you. Anne, who did a, uh, I think she did a super chat during the show. We thank you so much, Anne. You thoroughly enjoyed it as well. Tiffany, we hope to see you as well. And you're welcome back on the show anytime, my friend. Uh, goodbye from Chicago. Love mm -hmm. watching your interview. We hope to see you soon, Jim. <laughs> We love you, Tiffany and Jane. Uh, fantastic show. Thank you, Parade, for being here again. Thanks, Jim. Our pleasure. And yes, Dee, you're right. She gives 200% on stage. Hi, Claps Dee. from Pam. <laughs> Dee and Pam, I believe, is watching in Maryland, USA. And Linda watching in Florida. She says she's up in uh, the beautiful St. Augustine. Thank you so much, Jim, for having mm -hmm. Marie on your show. Please do have her come back. She's welcome back anytime, of course. Thank you so much. Best wishes from Scotland. Yep, you saw her originally on PBS on Celtic Woman. Yep, that's when you first learned about her. And she's done so many other incredible things. Claps from Canada and hearts and other emojis. Wow, you got the full Monty there from Merlin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really, really cool stuff. And, and, Christmas tree is from Jane and thank you, Jim and Raid. And uh, Anne says another amazing show. Our pleasure. Maraid, you're the very, very best. I toast you one more time. Oh, toast. Love you. Cheers. You're cheers, such cheers, a great Slancha. person. Slancha. <laughs> and, and let me tell you, you know, the times that we've had an opportunity to be on television together and or, you know, work on stages, um, we're always laughing. It's always, and, and it's not scripted or forced. No. You know, sometimes people force it because they're together with people. It's just something happens. We just have some, we've had some memorable off air moments <laughs> and fun, really good, Absolutely. genuine stuff. And that's what life's all about, my friend. Best of everything to you. Best of health. Love to your family. Congratulations again to your mom on the Lifetime Achievement Award, uh, Celtic Spells, Man of the House, all of it. And I'll mention, you know, again, before I wrap up how to get everything, but um, you're the best. And I really, really, you know, Aww. I'm deeply blessed by our friendship and, and just the fact that you take the time with the busy schedule to stop by here really means a great deal. And, uh, you know. Aww. I thanks, thank you Jim. so much. Jim, thanks so much for having me. And thanks to everyone for tuning in. And I know you tune in every day, Jim, because it's such a great show. And I really appreciate you, Jim, for having me on. And I'm loving the hair. I have to tell you, man, I love the hair. It's we just, cool. yes, I just got it two weeks ago. This is my favorite style. Is it? This is my favorite. Is it? This is my favorite. Oh, yeah. my God. My stylist, Alyssa. It. Alyssa's going to go crazy. Well, I just got it cut uh, just about, you know, styled and totally two weeks ago. Uh, you may recall wow. during the pandemic, I was having some fun. And it, yeah. uh, my hair changes like the wind. It's constantly, yeah. I get bored. Uh, or sometimes I do it based on the project, the show, whatever we're working on. But it, it came down to here at one point. It was, it was long. Here. I know. There's like a I Greek know. god type. <laughs> and then I said, you know what? <clears throat> it's ending up in my cereal. It's what it attacks me when I'm sleeping in the bed. It's like like coming at me, and I'm like, Bleh. yeah. I love let's, it. Let's I let's love change it. it up a little bit, you know. 
I love it. And and Jim, thanks again for having me. And I'll send you that link for everybody. Please do. And, you know, um, I I will have it before before it even goes up. The morning it goes up, so I'll have the link. So I'll send it to you if if you like. <laughs> Absolutely, you're the best, my friend. Love you very much. And there we go. <laughs> you, you you be well. You. <laughs> You, you be well and you take care. And uh, I, I love this. Just everybody. They're still, you know, oh, we got, oh, Demarit, we got to make sure we get her. She's watching in France oh. and she's always here. And she's saying oh. hello to you and to me Hi. and to everybody. From I beautiful. Know her. I know her. Hi. It's so Isn't she wonderful? Yeah. She is. Popping in and, and everybody here. Cool oh. stuff. You're the very best, my friend. You take care, be well, and uh, continue to love and blessings uh, to you. And I hope, as I always say, the show met whatever expectations you had and you enjoyed the time with me as much as I have with you. I really have. Mwah. See you, Jim. Take care. Be well, my friend. We'll see you, you soon, too. okay? And congratulations Bye. on Men of the House and Celtic Spells. Thank you. Cheers. Right, Nesbitt here on the Gym Master Show, coming at you live. There's the website. Check it out. Yes, make sure you check it out. Everything is there. Her socials are on there as well, and all the announcements and other cool things. As I mentioned when I started the show, she's got her hands in so many different projects, and she kept busy during the craziness of the pandemic. You know, we sort of whisper that. Uh, she's just been so busy, and then... During this time, and I knew about it, and maybe some of you did if you you follow her, but I knew she was working on Celtic Spells. Matter of fact, she told me a while ago when we were together last that there was a project that she was working on that was her baby, and it was something very, very special, and it has come to fruition, and it's really amazing. That is a great shot. And there you go again, Celtic Spells. Look for that coming but also Man of the House, which is coming in just a matter of days. You can download the heck out of it and uh, really, really enjoy it. It's going to be something special. You know what's really cool is uh, when I love these chats that we have, you also get a chance to learn a little bit more about you know, all of us, about me, about our guest, about yourselves. Even if you've known about you know the guest, uh, you always learn a little bit more and you see different sides. And we don't call these interviews at the Gym Master Show. We call these conversations. That's what we have here with everybody that stops by. And of course, the levity with all of you. Really appreciate so many comments that come in. You know, my socials are Gym Masters TV on Instagram and, and Twitter and Facebook. And so many of you write beautiful things on our socials. You send me these personal emails. We, we literally get hundreds of emails a day just with the Gym Master Show. That's not even my regular bill paying professional work. <laughs> I get a lot of emails there too. But with this series, we just get such levity from all of you because uh, we're doing something a little different. And we don't, again, just call this an interview show. We, we like to have a nice warm vibe and have a really good time. And Maraid, again, is just like that. That's, I think, one of the reasons why we have so much fun. One of the reasons why we click all the time. It's we pick up wherever we left off. Grammy and Emmy nominated Celtic violinist extraordinaire. Uh, make sure if you ever see her coming to a town near you, you get tickets because uh, she puts on an amazing show and she does it with a lot of levity, as we call it here, a lot of passion and a lot of uh, love for life and for connecting with people. As I mentioned, we met, this This goes back. This is one of the first times that Celtic woman first came to the United States. You may recognize some of the other familiar, uh, lovely ladies, talented ladies in there as well. Of course, yes, Lynn and Alex and Chloe and Lisa. I'm in the middle and Raid there as well. Another great shot. These are just, you know, we have many, many, many pictures. We just grabbed a few here. Um Always having a good time. Always having lots of laughs. That's at Carnegie Hall as well. And um, just good stuff, gang. You know, when you have, and there's with our buddy Tim, of course. And this was up in Maine, uh, which was beautiful. And this is at Carnegie Hall. Carnegie Hall, public television. Uh, this was in New York City with a bunch of our friends after the Carnegie Hall show, actually. Um, 
She's just amazing. Just slipping in some really cool photos here for you guys. And uh, for those of you maybe watching the Gym Master Show, you're fans of our show and fans of the series, and maybe you've heard of Marie, but you didn't know as much about her as you do now because of the conversation we just had. Or you wanted to know a little more. Look at that shot. Incredible, right? And of course, we talked about this too, uh, the remastering of that and uh, her family and all the things that she loves. You guys are terrific. A couple more comments we'll see here. You're right, Marie. Jim looks great with his hair. Now, thank you, because I know, Jane, you loved when my hair was longer. You really enjoyed, you know, during the pandemic, if you go back in some of the episodes, you'll see my hair was longer. And I never had it that long in my entire life. But during the pandemic, I'd want... Oh, I should say pandemic. I wanted to grow it longer and it was kind of cool. You know, we had a lot of different shows and different things that we did on and some stage work where I had it longer and it was cool. It was just about two weeks ago. I said, you know what? Let's, let's, let's get it cut. Let's get it. Uh, let's get a new style and, and bring it on as so we got the holidays coming as well. Thank you, Gary. Um, the hair is definitely on point. And thank you. And Anne, you did a super chat earlier in support of the Gym Masters show. And thank you. We love you for that. Thank you, Anne. She's watching in beautiful Southern California. She's one of our regular loveties. She watches all the time. If you keep hearing us say the word lovety and you're not sure what that is, uh, real quick, I said hmm, three years ago almost. Well, two and a half. Our show is about two and a half years old as of now. If you're watching this five years from now, then that's past tense. But uh, I said the show has a lot of light, love, and levity. And I said it a little too fast. And I said the word levity. <laughs> I took light, love, levity. And I somehow I took love and levity, you know, humor, and put it together and said levity. And that was, that was it. So uh, that's where the word came from. Gang, we have many, many more fabulous shows coming up. Uh, I sang a little today. Maraid played a little for you today. So not only did we have a fantastic conversation, as we like to do, we also had some entertainment sprinkled in too, which was really cool. And all of you, that's what is the icing on the cake. If this is your first taste of the Gym Masters show, live entertainment lifestyle variety talk show series, we welcome you you. We hope you'll stick with us. We hope you'll spread the word. We hope you'll tell everybody about our series. We hope you'll binge watch hundreds and hundreds of episodes you can check out. Maraid was here. This, I believe, is her third time as a special guest stopping by the show and many others. If you do like the Irish artists, boy, have we had many. Um, you know, again, our show features every category of life, but if you specifically like the Irish artists, Maraid has been with us three times. Uh, Lynn Hillary's been here. Lisa Kelly's been here. Uh, all of the guys from Celtic Thunder have been here as well. And Damien and Neil and Ryan. Uh, Keith Harkin's been with us. Uh, Sir James Galway has been here. Phil Coulter has been here and many, many others. So check that out uh, in the archives. And uh, matter of fact, uh, some of the Celtic Thunder guys, they've been here multiple times. Neil Burns been here three times, I believe. And uh, uh, Ryan's been here a couple of times, Damien as well. But if you like specifically the Irish uh, artists uh, and matter of fact, from Europe, uh, England and other areas, uh, check it out. Uh, Mario Frangoulis has been here. He's, of course, a wonderful Greek tenor. Uh, Jonathan Antoine. Did you see the episode with the extraordinary Jonathan Antoine tenor? classically trained. Uh, he was on Britain's Got Talent. He was just on recently, oh, about two weeks ago. Check that out. And so much more. Some of your favorite stars from television, Broadway, film, Hollywood, music, culinary arts, sports, comedy, inspiration from all around the world. Stop by our show. The hair is very becoming, according to Pam. Thank you very much. I tell you, Alyssa, my stylist is going to be very, very happy. Uh, I've been keeping her abreast of the comments, um, not on this show. I'm going to tell her about this, but you know, when I got it done about two weeks ago, uh, with all the television work traveling everywhere, um, Nevada, California, Fort Lauderdale, and so much more. We wanted to spice it up a little bit. So you guys are great. And I think Kathleen also just did a super sticker. Hey, Kathleen, thank you. The blue sort of matches the uh, my uh, sweater here. Uh, thank you, Kathleen, in New York City. And I hope to uh, 
that we get together. Yeah, I introduced you to Maraid when we all hung out. Where did we go? Was it the Russian Tea Room? I think we went to the Russian Tea Room, which is a legendary place in New York. Um, or, and we went to a couple of places. It was really good. It was after Carnegie Hall, and I invited you to come to Carnegie Hall. Uh, I was emceeing the uh, American Christmas Carol concert with, uh, presented by Tim Janis, our dear friend. Maraid was one of the performers as well. I was the MC and many others. And you uh, hung out with us after, which was kind of cool, wasn't it? Yeah. Jen Barry says, thank you. And I'm sure you guys enjoyed the earlier show. The reason why we did the show earlier, for those that are watching live, you know, um, we did it earlier. So that way her family, Maraid's family, and fans and friends in Ireland and Scotland and England can watch uh, at a reasonable time. So we started the show at 1 p.m. Eastern, which would be uh, 10 a.m. for the Pacific Coast viewers, Pacific, uh, you know, coast of the United States, Pacific time. And it was only six o'clock in England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales. Uh, where we had a lot, a lot of viewers, and I think seven o'clock for Sweden, Finland, Norway, um, and also um, South Africa and other areas. So, uh, Jim, thank you so much for bringing Maraid, and thank you, Maraid, for joining us again. Love you, Jim, and Maraid, we love you back. Jen, watching in uh, Pennsylvania, I bet you love that she went to Salem, Massachusetts recently, too. Yes, it's lunchtime for you. It's about a little after 3 p.m. Eastern here on the East Coast of the United States. Uh, so we're kind of in between lunch and dinner. Uh, I haven't even eaten today. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I haven't had a thing. Not good. I know you guys watch out for me. Eat something. Get rest. <sighs> yes. I've got a TV shoot tomorrow, too. We're on massive TV shoots lately, which is fabulous. It's what I do and what I've done for years. But... It's been a popping time, busy time. I got to eat something soon <laughs> or it's going to be like what? just fade out. Uh, so lunchtime. What's for lunch, Ann, in California? What are you having? Um, ah, Miss Pat in Texas. Miss Pat in Texas, you joined us when you're a levity and you joined us when uh, Jonathan Antoine was on the show. Great show. God bless to you in Texas, USA. A. Jane says she did love when the hair was longer, but this is awesome on you. Thank you very much. And you know, it's so much more easier to maintain this hairstyle than when it was longer. You guys remember I was, sometimes I was fighting with it, pulling it back. Um, I couldn't really wear the hats. Remember the famous hat I would wear in the beginning of the show, the series? I wore that cool hat. I may start bringing that back again. I couldn't really do it because the hair would pop out. Sometimes it would pop out on the sides, on the back, or I'd have to keep playing with it. Now I don't have to do that because it is short and sweet on the sides. See? Look at that. Short and sweet. This is just an earpiece, you know, so I can hear the guest. It's an ear. It's like an, you know, a little uh, earbud type thing. But uh, yeah, nice. I don't, <laughs> where'd that hand come from? I don't have to uh, worry about it. You know what I mean? And sometimes I could just wake up and go with this one hand. I'm left-handed. Just like that. And it's done. Maybe press a little bit here if it sticks up. And that's it. Before, if you knew what I had to go through before with the other hair when it was really long, it was really cool. It was nice. We got a lot of photos of it and Everybody loved it too, but ah, this is so much easier, you know, especially when I'm on the road, you know, all this travel and airplanes and airports and hotels and all these television work and everything. Sometimes I don't have time to spend. And if there is a situation where we have a makeup artist and a stylist, you know, it's, it's, it gets crazy to have to do deal with it when it's super long. So, Hey, you never know. It may come back long, but we're loving this. We're loving this. And, um, oh, now, welcome to the show. It's good to have you here, Marvelite. Uh, I love the background as well. The love, the Lovety Hall is amazingly decorated. Lovety Hall. This is Lovety Hall. You got it. And I, I'm glad you like the background. Sometimes we change it. We're, we're coming up on the holidays soon. So, you know, when it was St. Patrick's Day, the whole set was green 
when it was Valentine's Day, we did all red. I think I was red. Christmas is coming. So we usually adorn the set with the holiday seasonal feel as well. And um, a couple of people ask me, they, they ask about these two statues right here. Uh, I've received like emails about these. These are television awards. These are in television awards I've received for uh, work that I've done in television uh, that I've hosted, shows I've hosted, documentaries that I've hosted and executive produced and, and more. So those are awards in the world of television and uh, very honored by that. So that's what people have asked. Uh, oh, I see those statues there. Are they real? They are real and, and they're quite heavy <laughs> and they get polished every once in a while. They have special boxes that they go in, but they are uh, awards received from the television industry for my work, my professional work in TV. Uh, Mermaid has seen George before, so we didn't show it before, but there's George Burns. I know you guys love when George Burns pops in. So George is here. He says hello to all of you. He sends you his love. He's doing well. And uh, you got some lovely coming in from famous George Burns, who always stops by our show. Somehow or other, he always stops by the Gym Master Show. Uh, this is something exclusive and rare for our series. So like I say, this isn't just an interview show. We always have a good time uh, with all of you. Uh, are you putting Halloween decorations up too? Uh, yeah, I think we need to throw some up here with our next uh, episodes uh, coming up uh, next week. Yeah. Uh, Jen says, some of this coffee here, uh, doing a lot of talking. Jim, you and Maraid have beautiful hair. <laughs> well, one thing I've seen pictures, I've seen your hair in the photos in our Loverty Hall group on Facebook. You have a real head of hair, Jen Barry. You're never going to go bald. I mean, you have hair. You are never... <laughs> Jim, you and Maraid have beautiful hair. Me hair. Nope. It's like volcano. <laughs> Poof. LOL. <laughs> um, you have a lot of hair, which is great. Be it's a blessing. It's a blessing. You have a lot of hair, so you can do a lot with it, Jen Barry. Um, Merlin says, glad to have you back. Loved being on your trip with you. Missed a lot of the places you went. Uh, oh boy, we, we've been everywhere. We still have photos to post. We have so many photos from the television projects. Um, tomorrow we're going to be in New York city actually for a television project, a television uh, project show segment that I'm hosting. Um, Sweden is one hour later than England and Ireland. Go and eat Jim. <laughs> I shall. D says, Having Maraid play a Christmas tune certainly brings us closer to that Christmas spirit. I was glad that she did that. Uh, I thought it was really beautiful. Um, where are you? You said it's 10 p.m. where you are. I don't think we got where you are. Where are you located, Marvelite? Where are you? What country? What city? So it's 10 p.m. where you are. So you are several hours. Uh, where are you located? Let us know where you're located. Anybody that's here that hasn't mentioned where they're from, if you're new, feel free to post uh, where you're located. We'd love to see where you're from. Um, oh, you saved all the postings. Oh, you're in beautiful Kuwait. Oh, in Kuwait, in the Middle East. Welcome. That's a beautiful country, uh, Kuwait. So greetings to you and yours in Kuwait. Nice to have you here, part of the Gym Master Show Live. Love it, a family. We love it. And we hope you'll join us again. Real pleasure to have you here. Marvelite, watching from Kuwait. Eat, rest, take care of yourself. Don't make me come over there. <laughs> and hopefully I'll see you soon. Our New York Mets are out, I know. Now it's the, to see what happens with the Yankees, but, um, you know, representing New York, New York proud. Oh, Kathleen, I know we're going to be get to, we're going to get together real soon too. Right. I believe in a matter of weeks, uh, so looking forward to that. We'll have a good time in the city. I haven't been in the city in a while. 
uh, I've been so busy everywhere else, but got to get back into, uh, you know, into Manhattan. Um, love this. So love it to you, Kathleen and Merlin. Marlite watching in Kuwait says, I'm bringing some Celtic energy here as well. We'll be playing. Oh, you're going to be playing your harp at restaurants and stuff. So you do that as well. That is beautiful stuff. I love that. Harp is a beautiful instrument. It really, really, really is. Uh, I think that's one of my mother's favorite instruments. She loves the sound of the harp. We thank Maraid for joining us. She was amazing. We had such a great conversation with her, too, right here on the Jim Masters Show, coming at you from around the world. Good to have you guys with us. We're going to wrap up. Time to grab something to eat and replenish. Uh, just looking at uh, comments. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to our YouTube channel or give it some levity, that really helps us grow. When you leave comments and when you give us a thumbs up sign on the episodes, do you know that it actually really helps our series reach more people? Because we appreciate it. We thank you. But YouTube sees it and they take the episodes and they open up the viewing to more people around the world. It, so it really helps us when you do that. So definitely do that. There's a thumbs up icon there, a big thumb on all the episodes. Give them all a big hearty thumbs up. Comment. Leave a comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Jim Masters TV. Just click this red button. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. Tell all your friends, spread the worldwide word about our fabulous series that we have here, which is quite special. It's unique what we do and the way we do it. Just exactly as designed. Uh, I want it to be interactive. You know, being a professional TV and radio host myself, I like to interact with people. Uh, so like, comment, and subscribe. That's, that's usually the vernacular for that. And, uh, or as D says, eat, drink, and host. I like that. Like, comment, subscribe. That's what you have to do. You guys, we would love it if you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will eat, drink, and host. That's a, that's a nice two-way street, isn't it? <laughs> We're all in this together. It takes a village gang, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Ms. Pat in Texas, it would be lovely if you could have one of or all of the Kelly family on the show. Mm, that would be cool. Shoot us an email. If you have some ideas for guests, that you would like to see on our show, you can send us an email to jimmasterstv at gmail.com. Or if you know people, you can have them contact us, jimmasterstv at gmail.com. If you have guest suggestions, if you know people personally, you can have the guest contact us through email. Or our other address is jimmastersmedia, M-E-D-I-A, jimmastersmedia, at gmail.com. So a couple of ways there. We get a lot of emails. So we thank you for them. We try to get, you know, respond as quickly as we can. I've got, uh, since we were on these television projects, got a lot of emails backed up that we have to respond to, but we are working hard behind the scenes to get to everything and thank you for them. But uh, Jim Masters TV at gmail.com and Jim Masters Media at gmail.com are ways to contact us uh, if you have guest suggestions and things of that nature. Yeah. So thank you, Ms. Pat in Texas. We love that. Jen Barry says, Jim, thank you for bringing us all together. Slancha, the pleasure is all mine. Beautiful day for a walk. It is, uh, it is very nice, sunny and almost 70 degrees. Really nice. You guys are great. Thanks for all these terrific comments coming in from all around the world right here on our show. One more time, uh, we thank our very, very dear friend, Mairead Nesbitt, uh, Grammy and Emmy-nominated Celtic violinist extraordinaire. She's a real sweetheart of a person. We love having her here. She's always a lot of fun. We always have a great time. And as I mentioned, we've known each other a long time. So my pleasure to welcome her back to the show for a third time. A lot of exclusives that we shared on the Gym Masters show today uh, with all of you. Don't forget to check out her uh, Celtic Violin Collection as well. Good to see uh, Tiffany uh, joining us from Chicago. Uh, another dear friend as well. And so many people 
joining us here on JMS Live here in Lovety Hall. And don't forget, as I always say, kindness matters. Uh, be kind, love one another, take care of one another, and be good to yourself too. Make sure you love yourself. You know, you got to do that. Uh, sometimes we're always taking care of everybody else, but you got to do it as well. You know, it'd be kind of cool to have her family on. I'll have to talk to her about that. Her her family, are, the Nesbitt family are so multi-talented, you know. Bring her back soon. Yes, she's got a lot coming up, a lot on her plate. We will her have her back. We, you know, all of the guests, the doors open. Some guests, the minute we wrap up the episode with the guest, some of the guests are like, when can I come back on the show? <laughs> I mean, we just we just wrapped the episode with that guest, and they're like, when can we come back? So I think that's a blessing, and I really appreciate people that, you know, say that so often that they want to come back on the show. That's a beautiful thing. So everybody's welcome back. So that's about it, gang. Um, we had a really good show here and a really good shoe, as Ed Sullivan used to say. M amazing guests coming up, really cool people coming up uh, during the week. Now, this is for those who are watching live. Again, if you're watching this six months from now, these guests will have already appeared. But... Coming up, we have Jenny Kwan. Jenny Kwan was in that popular TV series on NBC, California Dreams. She's in the second season of Around the Sun. She is extraordinary and a lot of new cool things on television and movies. She's going to be with us on Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. Just Google her name. You'll see all the incredible things that she's been doing. She is stopping by the Jim Masters Show live coming up on uh, Monday. We're really excited about that. We have also coming up Leslie S. Klinger, the world's foremost Sherlock Holmes, Dracula, and Frankenstein expert, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, written a new book, has incredible stories to tell. He's the world's foremost expert, the world's foremost expert on Sherlock Holmes, Frankenstein, Dracula, and so many others. And very perfect with, uh, you know, the time of year it is. He is, just Google his name. You'll see how accomplished he is. We also have coming up next week, author, writer, educator, and mom, Maya Payne Smart. She's extraordinary. She is very big on making sure that children are literate, that they read. And she has a wonderful book, Reading for Our Lives. She's an extraordinary person. Um, her husband is also a basketball coach of a very famous basketball team. We'll tell you about that as well. But she's a brilliant person, and she's going to join us this coming week as well. And we're very, very much looking forward to that. And again, there's so many other guests right here for you on the Gym Masters show. That's just a few. Take a look at our YouTube channel, Gym Masters TV. Scroll along where it says all upcoming and past episodes of the Gym Masters show series. Uh, you can see a few of the guests that are upcoming, and you can see some of the guests um, that are going to be, uh, or that were on the show already. All right, good stuff. We love you all. Thanks for being with us. As we always say, take care of one another. Again, love one another, and uh, be good to yourself. And we don't say goodbye around here. We say see you later. Uh, ciao, cheers, slancha, aveda zane, sayonara, hasta la vista. Uh, we say more loop. We say cheers, take care, be well, bon voyage. <laughs> uh, our hotel room has said that to us as well. Good morning, good evening, and then bon voyage when we were leaving the various hotel rooms. Uh, we're going to be posting some more photos from our trips and our television shoots. Really beautiful uh, in Nevada, in California, Florida. We got a lot more we're going to post on our socials, Gym Masters TV. So look for that. And um, good stuff. So we don't say goodbye. We say see you later. Yes. Hajja. Hajja. I, I love that. Hope I'm saying that right. I think you taught me how to say that. <laughs> Kathleen, as always, a pleasure. And Jen, as well. Gang, we're going to take off. We are starving. Hope you uh, grab a snack. And uh, 
Join us again here on the Jim Master Show. We'll be here waiting for you with more entertainment, more great conversations, lots of surprises. We work real hard behind the scenes to put these shows together. If you do want to support us, uh, you can always do the super chats, super emoji, super stickers in the uh, JMS Lovety chat room when the show is live. You can also do it when the show is not live. If you look at the episodes on our YouTube channel, there's a little heart icon that says super thanks. If you click on the heart, heart icon, you can actually support our series as well, um, which helps us big time with everything that we do here, which we love doing for all of you. So with that said, we'll see you soon, okay? We'll be on the next episode waiting here for you, and we thank you so very much for joining us. We thank Marie Nesbitt. And for all of your great comments and your levity, uh, your messages and posts on social media, you can share the links on social media. And uh, just for all the love you've shown us and continue to, we thank you so very, very much. Uh, you mean the world to us. This is a lot of fun to do this series. Again, as I've mentioned, for those of you for the first time watching, this series is sort of like an adjunct to my professional work. I've worked for many years and still work very busy schedule on television and radio here in the United States, as well as stage and film on many different shows, projects, networks, TV stations, radio stations over the years. And I love it. And uh, I have my hands in many things like uh, Marie does. I think that's why we're also kindred spirits. We understand the busyness of life. and uh, But also we also understand um, the importance of the simple things in life. We talked about that on the show. Family, friends, loved ones, nature, quiet moments, reflective moments. Uh, kind words, empathy, kindness, that all matters. It's all very important. So make sure you you think about that. With all the bling and buzz that's out there, and we're surrounded by a lot of it, especially you know in these careers, we're surrounded by a lot of it, but just our, our society is surrounded by a lot of it. Uh, nice to have, nice to partake in, but of course, the meaning of life isn't that stuff because when we depart, you can't take the stuff with you, which you can take what's in here and what's in your heart and soul. So, uh, Marvel light watching in beautiful Kuwait says been a pleasure. Wish everyone here a delightful rest of your day, night and evening. Yes. And stay with us. You're welcome back. Tell all your friends in beautiful Kuwait about our show. Uh, enjoy playing that beautiful harp Marvel light. And, uh, we thank you for being here as well. Jen Barry says, Jim, thank you so very much. My pleasure, Slancha, kisses, and all the rest. We'll see you soon, gang. Epic broadcast, epic times with all of you on the Gym Masters Show Live. We appreciate it. Gym Masters here, thanking you for your time this time. Till next time, I'll be right here waiting for you in the host chair at Lovety Hall. <laughs> Take care, be well, and cheers. <laughs>